Hi friends, welcome to Vidya's Cooking. Today I'm going to be showing you very simple and easy three different paratha recipes and I'm also going to be doing a product review. I prepared chili cheese paratha, corn and capsicum paratha and mixed vegetable paratha. I served it with a wonderful range of fish and chicken pickles. So all these pickles and rotis were from Somi's Kitchen. Somi's Kitchen sent me their entire range of products, whatever they have currently on board, they have sent me all the range of products. They have sent me gluten-free puris which is made of mixed millets. They sent me traditional whole wheat chapatis and also millet chapatis along with three different varieties of pickles. They have sent me a prawn pickle, fish pickle and the chicken pickle. They also sent me only these three varieties of pickle and variety as well. So these pickles tasted really yum. As you can see the bottles are already halfway through. I have completed the bottles. So before I finish it off I wanted to do this review. Um, these pickles tasted really good with uh, even white rice. So I am going to be using uh, the traditional whole wheat chapatis for this recipe. You can also use the millet rotis but I am planning to do a second video using the millet rotis. For the mixed vegetable parathas I have reserved uh, finely chopped capsicum. Uh, finely chopped cabbage, grated carrots and finely chopped chilies. A tub of water, I've got some finely chopped uh, potato and some peas which I'm going to boil later. Some grated cheddar cheese. You need uh, salt powder or uh, ginger powder and pav bhaji masala which I had already at home, I'm using that. You can also use tandoori chicken masala, whatever garam masala you have at home you can use it for the parathas. I'll also be using some paneer. If you cannot find cottage cheese, leave that out. Finely chopped onion and corn, sweet corn. This is ready to use sweet corn, frozen corn. So I am using that. Detailed recipe for all the three parathas will be listed in the description box below this video. All the quantities and the method will be listed in the description box below this video. I will also post the detailed pricing for all the products used in this recipe. Now I have started to prepare the mixed vegetable paratha so I've heated a wok on medium flame to that I've added two tablespoons of oil and I've started to fry a small amount of onion I've used one large onion for the entire recipe for all the three parathas and I've used one large bell pepper for all the three parathas now uh, once my onion turns transparent I've added the finely chopped uh, potato and peas I've not added uh, much of water just added a little bit of salt I'm just going to keep stirring this and cooking it. Since the potato is chopped into tiny pieces, you need not add water. It will cook instantly. So just leave it, cover it and allow it to cook. Now while my potato is cooking, I've started to prepare the chili cheese uh, paratha filling. Uh, in a mixing bowl, I've added uh, cheddar cheese. This is roughly about uh, half a cup of cheddar cheese, grated cheddar cheese. You can also use mozzarella. And you can use a combination of uh, mozzarella and uh, cheddar cheese. I've added a little bit of chilies, a little bit of uh, chopped capsicum and uh, I did forget to add the onions which I added later. Now I'm adding uh, pepper powder, little bit of that ginger powder and little bit of the um, pav bhaji masala, all quarter teaspoons and uh, I did add the onion and also I've adjusted the salt later on. So this is a wonderful recipe, you can prepare all the three uh, fillings, you can uh, refrigerate it and prepare it whenever you require. Now I've started to prepare the corn filling. This is a instant um, sweet corn that you can prepare. Just you have to open the packet and you can prepare it instantly. But if you have sweet corn that you have to steam cook and use it, you can do it that way as well. So I'm using the instant uh, corn that I can prepare it right away. Uh, to the corn, I've added uh, capsicum. I've crumbled and added uh, paneer. I've also added a little bit of chilies. So for this entire recipe, I used only about four to five chilies and one large capsicum and one large uh, onion. The detailed recipe will be in the description box below this video. I am just roughly crumbling the paneer using my fingers itself. You can grate and add it because I like chunks of paneer in my paratha. Now I have added the onion and uh, grated cheese. I have also added the masala powders, pav bhaji masala, 
ginger powder, salt and pepper powder. I am using just one masala for this entire recipe. So the reason why I am telling you to use just one masala for the entire recipe, you don't have to keep purchasing a lot of masalas. Use whatever is there at home. And I use up this pav bhaji masala, tandoori masala in all the recipes so that it doesn't go waste. Now my potatoes and uh, peas have cooked. Now to the potatoes and peas I've added the finely chopped uh, cabbage, grated carrots and uh, capsicum, leftover capsicum and the chilies. And I'm just going to cook this friends, that's about it. I'm going to add the masala powders at this point. I've added the uh, uh, ginger powder, pav bhaji masala, salt and I'm going to fry these uh, vegetables without adding much water. I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of water, cover this and I'm going to cook the vegetables. You can prepare these vegetables ahead of time. Uh, store it in an airtight container and refrigerate it. So it is a very economical uh, paratha recipe that I'm showing you. So like uh, there are a few days that we are very busy and uh, you can prepare such uh, fillings ahead of time and store it in the fridge and just use it up uh, as required. So these uh, sort of products I really enjoy using when it's whole wheat and uh, when they use natural products, organic products. So these sort of uh, rotis and uh, pickles I really enjoy using. So I've not used much of water friends if you see my uh, vegetables does not contain much of water. I've added the crumbled paneer to the vegetables, the leftover paneer. Uh, and even the paneer I used just one packet of it so you can see how much of filling that I got from all the three ingredients that I used for this recipe just the cheese paneer and mixed vegetables is all that I've used all that I'm trying to say it's a wonderful and economical way of uh, creating new dishes for the family Now I'm going to uh, open this uh, Somme's Kitchen uh, whole wheat uh, chapatis. So once you open the uh, chapati packet, you can see the chapatis are semi-cooked and it's packaged very well. So each chapati layer is uh, sandwiched between plastic covers and uh, it ensures that uh, the chapatis remain fresh the whole day and it is nicely vacuum sealed. So the chapatis are very fresh once you open it. Since the Somme's Kitchen chapatis are pre-cooked, you have to cook it just one side and flip it to the other side and start filling the roti or the chapati. So this is very simple to prepare. Once it's cooked for a minute on one side, I just flipped it and I have filled the chapati, one half of the chapati with the mixed vegetable filling. You can call this as a quesadilla um, that I am preparing. So in that concept, I have prepared the roti. It is uh, very easy to prepare. Anybody can prepare parathas. Uh, so all the craving for parathas have gone. So I've uh, flipped the chapati. I've added a little bit of oil and I cooked it on the both sides. I've done the same for all the three. I've done the same for all the three parathas. I cooked it for a minute on each side, and then I've added some oil once it's filled. So it is very simple. You can prepare this uh, parathas like this. And there are many uh, beginners and even kids who would like to prepare such parathas. So it's very easy. You don't have to stuff and you have, don't have to roll the rotis and all of that. You can just prepare uh, this quesadilla style uh, chapatis and uh, you can serve it. It's a wonderful uh, whole wheat uh, chapatis. So it's very simple to prepare. I prepared all the three parathas within few minutes. So the detailed recipe will be in the description box below this video or you can click the i-card above this video which will link you to my blog. You can also like me and follow me on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. All the links to my social media will also be in the description box below this video. Also like me and follow me on uh, YouTube channel. YouTube channel link will also be in the description box below this video or you can click the i-card above this video. These are very simple quesadilla style parathas that I'm preparing. They turned out really good. So do try this friends. It turned out really good and we enjoyed it. No paratha is complete without a good pickle. So I've served my parathas with Somme's Kitchen a prawn pickle, fish pickle and chicken pickle. I can for sure tell you 
that they are not skimpy on the fish or uh, chicken in their pickle it is wonderful it has got the perfect amount of heat tang and even the oil it's very nice you can mix it with even uh, just steam cooked rice and you can eat it the pickles itself comes in a nice airtight bottle jar i really liked it it is very tasty it is very nice i really liked it with the parathas that i prepared and uh, i've been eating this fish pickles along with my uh, steam cooked rice and with my south indian meals i'll uh, post the pricing for the pickles in the description box below this video i've gone ahead and served all my three parathas with the pickles that is prawn pickle fish pickle and the chicken pickle a detailed blog post will also be posted you can click the icon card above this video which will direct you to my blog if you enjoyed watching this video recipe and review give me a thumbs up and subscribe to me for more reviews and recipe videos i'll be seeing you soon with the next recipe video thank you so much kitchen for choosing our channel until next time this is vidya lakshmi thank you so much for watching bye bye